Let's talk about the developer tools in Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a web browser that we all know, and it has some hidden developer tools that we can use to manipulate web pages. To check them out, we'll open a live Bootstrap website and see what we can do. Keep in mind, you can use these tools on any website. To access the developer tools, we'll just left click here and select inspect. On the right hand side, you'll see a window that pops up and it gives us some options. On the top half, we have HTML code and on the bottom half, we have CSS. If we hover over some of the HTML elements, their respective parts are highlighted in the actual web page. Now we can change some of the stuff on the website with this code over here. And so going to this button, as you see it highlighted, we right now, if we click it, it will go to the about section. But let's say I wanted to go to the contact section instead. Well, we can double click this and change about to contact. Hit enter. And now when I click this button, it will take me to the contact section of the page. And how did I know, you know, hashtag contact was the thing to put? Well, contact is an ID. So if I scroll down, we have, you know, section ID about, section ID download, contact. If I do hashtag any of these IDs, it will bring me down here if it's the value of the href property. We just edited some HTML code, but we can actually do this for CSS as well. Looking at this GitHub button, let's say I want the text of this to be red instead of green. Well, if I control click and I can do inspect or left hand click and we look at this, we look for when the whole button is highlighted right here and there we go. And let's say we just want this button to be red to test it out. Well, we can go color red and now all of this text is red. And let's say, you know, I like this, this looks cool. Then we can go to button default and we can make all three of these, you know, red. And so if I go here and we say color red, hit enter. Now all three of these are red and I can unselect this. And that's because all three of these buttons are a part of the button default class. Now when I refresh the page, none of this will be saved. And this is a good thing because otherwise everyone would have access to how every website looks. And so notice these buttons are green again. So what makes this tool useful? Well, let's look at a previous project here. Opening up this, here's the code over here, and now we'll open up the actual web page. And so say, you know, I coded this web page, this is from the other Bootstrap tutorial, and let's say I wasn't sure what color I wanted this hello world to be. So I could inspect it here with the developer tools and then change its color. You know, let's say I want it to be red and that looks a little bright. So I can click this icon here and I can go down and now I have a darker red, but I still don't like it. What if I wanted to match like a color in this photo? Well, I can just go over here and say I want it to be this color brown. I just click and now it's that color brown. And so of course when I refresh it will go away, but what I do know now is that this color brown goes with this hex code. And so I can copy this and put it in my code and then I'll have this change saved. So what did this developer tool allow me to do? Well, I could sample different colors and see what I liked best and then change my code versus changing my code a bunch of times. And so adding the color we like to our code We'll put this in a div super quickly. Save it up, go over here, and we just created that class brown, and so we'll select it and set the color equal to this hex code. Saving this, and now if we make this that same color, refreshing the page here and we'll see it stays the same color and that's because we changed our code based on what we found out with the developer tools and so there are a couple of other you know panes of interest over here this is the elements pane and basically you know you can check out your different html elements your css mess around with it try out different things without actually changing your code you have the console pane here. This will tell you if you have any errors in your code. It's more helpful, you know, if you have JavaScript or Angular in your program, but it will basically help with any syntax errors. And it will also let you know if you're trying to access something that doesn't exist. And so that's super helpful. If you like have something misspelled in your linking or in your naming, definitely helpful. There's also, you know, some other tabs in here. There's a bunch of them, but going over to sources, 
this is just another way to access and edit your code locally right here. When I refresh the page, none of this will be saved, just like with the elements. It's just more formatted into files. And so we have this color brown. We'll change it to red. And now this is red, but of course, when I refresh, it will all go away. So just another way to edit your code here in the development tools. So that's the power of the inspector in Google Chrome. Next Friday, we'll talk about JavaScript, which will actually help make our websites interactive. And so when I click this button, something will happen. See you then.